All right, y'all, I'm back. I'm in a hammock, and I have a lot to catch y'all up on right now. Um, first of all, I want to say um, that I have been so burnt out these past couple weeks. Let me tell you something. I Let me be very transparent. I made a, a, a goal with myself this year. My first three months of the year, I was going to do X, Y, and Z. I was going to have 100 million views on TikTok in a month. I was going to reach 750,000 followers on Instagram, and I was going to surpass 2 million followers on Instagram or on TikTok, and I was going to, or hit 2 million followers on Instagram or on TikTok, and then uh, make $50,000 this year. And then also start my business, uh, start my, my influencer education business. I want to tell you guys, I knocked all of those out of the park at like week one of March. By week one of March, I had like 730K followers on Instagram, 2.4 million on TikTok, 130 million views on TikTok. I had made like, I had made like somewhere upwards of like seventy thousand dollars in the first two-ish three three months. No, no, I, I think seventy. I'm I'm just being transparent. Okay, um, I've never made that much money in my life. A lot of that will go to taxes. I'll probably walk away with some something like thirty. It, it's not gonna be that crazy, but I did do that. Um, and you guys know I hate talking about the money part with it, social media because. Uh, I feel like it's going to go away, but I'm trying to be good at that. Um, whatever. I love my nails right now. It's wine purple, but basically all of that hard work. Cause I had been busting my ASS at, um, making all that happen that by week two of March guys, you guys know me on these YouTube videos. I have been like, like the same way I was when I was filming that TV show back in November. Like my life, dude, I have been so burnt out, creatively drained. But, so, with that being said, I had to take a step back. Long story short, I realized that what I needed was to stop trying to do, okay, so let me, so let me say, it. I hit all my goals, and that left me feeling, for the past couple weeks, so mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, creatively drained, because I had hit my limit in a way. I had committed to ma to making these certain things happen, and I did it, and I made it happen at like an accelerated time time frame, and I did that, and I was just like, Ugh! like it's all out of me now. Now it's April first. I just did all that, and for the past week, I've been taking a break off YouTube. Haven't really been posting that much on TikTok. I've really been letting this new level of my life settle in. See, I made these goals that would drastically improve my life. I hope that this airplane isn't being super loud. I'm sorry. I set goals that would have real impact on my life. The biggest impact with all this stuff is that I was choosing all these goals related to social media and social media is something that's so creatively driven that I now am, I basically needed to settle in to my new life a little bit because I have been working on this stuff. Okay, I'm kind of going in circles. But that, that's what's been happening, guys. I've been meditating a lot, trying to meditate. And I thought that I wanted to meditate to have clarity of mind. But in reality, I had all the clarity I want. I achieved the goals I had set for myself. In the real world, what was happening was right. I had been working myself so hard that I got to where I wanted to go. And then I was just been like, I never really told myself good job for it. And I just kept telling myself, just go, just keep going, keep going, keep going. Not realizing that these past seven months where I've been just killing me with work, just really to the bone. I mean, putting like <coughs> a stupid amount of work out there that I am now a different person than I was. I am a different person than who I was back in September where I said, I'm going to change my life. And I've done that now. And now I am in a completely different state. I have like over like two and a half million more followers. I have like, I've reached uh, a good amount of money that I can make consistently. I've opened up streams of income. I've also established new social media presences. I have had new relationships enter my life. I have new things coming for the future. I have things from the past coming to fruition, like my movie just came out, I have a TV show coming out, and I have all this stuff happening, but while I have been living in new Carrington world, I was still using old Carrington mindset. I was still treating myself like I was this like lazy, procrastinating, 
bum of a person and then like I was treating myself like just work, 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 like smack, 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 work, 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 work. And that no longer aligned with my life. That no longer aligns with my life. Those old thought processes do not apply to this version of Carrington. And I basically realized I need to mentally level up where I'm at because I have been putting so much output out there. So you have input output of your life, okay? I've been outputting so much that it changed my whole environment. My environment changed and I was putting the same input into myself, the same work, 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 the same blah, blah, blah. Not allowing myself to develop new strategies for this next level because I'm in a new environment now and I live in a new version of myself. I'm at a higher level now and what got you there, what got you here won't get you there. That's what I've been trying to, I've I've been thinking about and with that being said, I realized I just needed to change the way that I've been thinking about stuff because this whole burnout thing I've been feeling is, I'm losing my train of thought here. The whole burnout thing that I've been feeling has been because my lifestyle that I've been living this whole year, it got me where I need to go. It it was, it's been great. These nails are so good. It got me where I need to go. And that is all great, you guys. But because it left me feeling so freaking drained and just, uh, because it left me feeling so burnt out in every aspect so without energy you know my life was no longer energizing me it was taking energy from me and I realized that that isn't sustainable so I can't commit to that the same way when I was going out and like partying all the time and wilding out that wasn't sustainable because that wasn't getting me to where I wanted to go but it was like taking care of me emotionally in terms of like having fun spending time with friends but now I was on the other side of that where I am now, I'm getting all of it done. I'm getting all the work done. I am moving up in my life. I am improving my lifestyle, but I'm not taking care of Carrington. And I really, really felt like I had lost Carrington. I really, I've been trying to meditate and read and like find myself and like this book I'm reading and like trying to like, please, like, let me just latch onto something. I want to just like, I want to just like feel like myself again. It feels like such a foreign person to me. It was because I stopped being Carrington. I became a slave to Carrington and became a basically puppet for Carrington to get what he wants. But I was disregarding how Carrington feels. And that took me about as far as that could take me where... The mindset of old Carrington, I maximized that. I burnt out that old Carrington. I worked until I hit the top of what that old Carrington thought the top was, that he wanted, you know, this worker Carrington to be there. Like, I basically slaved away for Carrington to get to that point. And then I was at that point, and I was still slaving. And I was like, wait, wait, checkpoint. Take a step back. Checkpoint. You got there. Now you need to revisit your strategy. And I realized that and I kept trying to work more to get to, to, to lock back in. I kept trying, okay, let me just post more. Let me just drown it out and like trying to make money. No creativity could be born there. No, no quantum leaps could be introduced to my life with that in my mind. So I wanted to get back in touch with Carrington. So for the past probably 10 days... I have told myself that my job is to be Carrington because this whole boat, this whole thing that I'm doing, it doesn't go anywhere without Carrington being Carrington. You know, the work is a factor. It always will be a factor, but I no longer have to treat work like it's something that's going to go away or like it's something that I'm putting off doing. I no longer have to treat myself like I... I no longer have to like try and force myself to do it. I have proved to myself that I can do what needs to be done. I have proved to myself that I am no longer that person. I can now do 
what I want to do. And with that being said, now let's step back and rediscover who Carrington is. Settle back into the person you are emotionally and creatively, creatively, create creatively, and settle into this new phase you're at and rediscover Carrington within that. So that's what I've been doing. In reality, what does that look like? Haven't worked out in about 10 days. Been hanging out with Chase, Troy, and Nema for the past 10 days. Been sleeping on their couch. Been hanging out. I went on an influencer trip to Las Vegas for the SLS skateboarding uh, finals. I went to that. Got a whole trip covered through SLS. Um, my second paid influencer trip of the year, which I'm jazzed about. Um, that was dope. And I went to Vegas and I drank for the first time in about seven months. And I did that, and I hit a cigarette, a smoked cigarette, and vape. And I was just honestly in Vegas wilding out. And now I'm back here, and it's a deck day. And, yeah. And part of me saying that is like, It feels weird. No, it doesn't feel weird. I don't know. I just feel like I really wanted to be old Carrington for a second. And I wanted to hang out with old Carrington. With this new life that I have. And me doing that. I don't know. I don't know, guys. But yeah, I just felt when I drank for the first time, I was like, okay. Like, I got back from Vegas. I'm like, all right, well, that wasn't really that awesome. And I remember why I don't like to do that that much. But also, the pressure off me, the pressure is also off me for be to be like, Oh, I don't, I, like, I'm saying, like, I'm sober, because for anyone who doesn't know, I completely cut off any, like, weed, smoking, and nicotine. I cut all that off cold turkey in September so I could lock in, and I've done that now. I've locked in, and part of me just wanted to kind of fall on my face to figure out who I am a little bit more again, and... To do that, I wanted to reconnect with old Carrington. Why did Eric, old Carrington like to go out and party and shit like that? I woke up the day after uh, hitting, a, hitting a vape and drinking, and uh, it was like... <coughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and so, like, I just feel like pressure is off now. I'm like, okay. I don't know. I just feel like there's less pressure on me right now. And I'm, I'm not like, I don't even really want to go drink. And like, after that, I was like, yeah, okay, smoking isn't cool either. Like, I don't need that either. So I'm just like, wow. All right. So I'm new me. And like, I don't really like that stuff that much. But there's no pressure on me. And I was actually, and, and it, it, I don't want to put out the message that like, for me, going out and, like, be doing old Carrington shit, which is just, like, going out, partying, like, had a drink, and, like, you know, it was being kind of a head-ass, but, like, I don't know, dude. I don't know. I just felt actually present for once, and then you don't need to do that. But, but the thing is, the reason that I say that is because I just wanted to get back in touch with old Carrington, see what old Carrington was. And I feel like I did that. And now I'm like kind of settling into that. I'm like, okay, well, we kind of went to old Carrington world. We're in new Carrington world now. And yeah, I just, um, the yeah, helicopter. I feel good. I just feel like I took off a lot of the pressure on me, y'all. And so where am I at right now? Don't exactly know, but I'm getting there. You know, I'm, this whole week for me is now 
a reset week for me. I did my first three months of the year, a week to, to fall back, reanalyze my goals. And then the next three months will be going hard. I want you guys to know that I'm moving. I'm going to be moving. Uh, I got a new thing, a little setup I'm excited for. And uh, just a new phase is, is coming up, y'all. And I wanted to come on here and just talk because YouTube has also become a, a cool part of my life that I enjoy. And I love that it's just a video diary for me. I love it. it's an outlet for me to be so raw online. And I wanted to let you guys know. And I wanted to also, you know, a big part of me posting about my journey in my life is sharing it with you guys so you guys can maybe relate to what I'm going through. Maybe it can help you out. And that's what I'm doing, y'all. So that is uh, that, is that, guys. Um, you guys are super supportive of me. And I just feel good. I think that things are only going to get better. And, yeah, I'm just... Just settling back. I mean, I, I I watched an anime for the first time. Guys, I haven't sat down to watch an episode or a movie or... I have literally consumed zero media for entertainment purposes. Besides the occasional scrolling, which I don't even really do that much. And, like, I've maybe watched five YouTube videos that were all, like, teaching me how to play competitive Pokemon. Or, like, learning about some Pokemon stuff just because I like Pokemon. Everything has been done for work. I am now getting re-familiar with Carrington, seeing what's up. And to do that, I'm just kind of filling up my cup creatively. And, yeah. Yeah. So, that's that. That's my update, guys. Um, so, be expecting more. And... Yeah, I think I'm about to make a video right now after this video about um, how just talking through how I'm setting up my goals for the next uh, these next three months. That's that, and I, I love you guys. You guys are the best, and I'm super excited for what's to come, guys. I feel like uh, I feel like we've a new level have. Uh, uh, I feel like we've reached a new level. So, getting ready for that new level, guys. That's what's up. Level two. Level two. In reality, this isn't level two. This is probably level, like, 77. Probably. I'm, I'm pretty high level right now, guys. I'm pretty high. Speaking of that, I'm watching solo leveling um, the anime. Uh, okay, I love you guys. Wine Purple Nails. You guys are the bomb.com. Peace.